What was left to do in the battle arena? The gold match and the platinum match. I had a feeling I wasn't going to beat them anytime soon, so I just ran right into them to see what they were all about. Wait, I should have put on an enemy skill. Aw oh, crap, this thing looks like- Ah, oh. What is this thing? Omega Weapon from Final Fantasy VIII? What's it doing here? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even fully healed. The hell was that? What the hell was that? Okay, uh, am I healed? Well, now I'm healed. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I still need to find three enemy skills. Will you stop doing that? What are you doing now? That's not a move. Yikes. Okay, this guy's going to be a little tough. Megiddo Flame. My god. That does nothing. <clears throat> Terra break, uh oh. He's doing Omni Slash. Now he's all up in my grill. Get out of my face. Aw, oh, man, I healed him. Slow. Did that work? I don't think so. This is gonna suck. It certainly lives up to the name of Final Fantasy VIII Omega Weapon, because that guy was hard. Damn it. Alright, one last thing I want to try. Damn it. What isn't this guy weak against? Crap. 
damn it. I'm done with this. I figure I might as well see what the Platinum match is, even though it's probably gonna kick my butt harder than Omega Weapon. Ah, oh, dang it. Shadow Flare! Only Shadow Flare is gonna save us. FF10 Nemesis. Okay, so that's what's so that's what this that's what's destroying me. Ultra Spark. How much damage am I gonna do? Okay, break time from the battle arena. I had some unfinished business in the northern cave. You may remember that there were a few enemy skills to collect in the northern cave. I didn't get them on the first try. It was time to venture off to obtain them because they might be useful but mostly for completionism. The venture down could provide good limit leveling so I switched in Katsith and Aerith to level their limits. My goal was to get to that save point in the swamp portion of the cave to use as a checkpoint, then head back up to face the Tsar Cats, those brutal enemies that I couldn't stand to fight and even game over me once or twice. Oh, looking forward to that. Oh man, already. Okay, like, Aerith does not have a lot of HP. And no, I'm not fighting these assholes. Bye. Screw you. I'm not even sure where the enemy skills go are, but we're gonna find out. And I'm not- no, I'm not fighting you either. Okay, you know what? Fine, I will fight you. As soon as I remember what you're weak against. Okay, these things die quicker than I'm used to. Because I've been fighting all these bosses that when an enemy just pops out and has, like, stuff. It's weird. Whoa, I just got a lot of, like, stuff. I'm gonna grow lands. Okay, I should put on an enemy away materia. I'm not fighting you goons. Forget it. Nice. Now you die. Stupid thing. Yeah, I think I beat one. They're not worth fighting. I'm not gonna do it again. Oh, do I have to go through the mysterious caves? This is where things get sucky. Because I am gonna encounter those... Alright, you know what I need to do? Do I have an auto wall? Yeah, I do. Alright. I want to get down to the... to the save point before I try and fight those... whatever the fudge is. Can I go back up after this? Let's find out. Okay. The question is, where is a save point? I hate this place. I hate it! Okay, go through here. I just soak in that nice water. Oh man, get in your skin. 
You're gonna feel great tomorrow. There it is. Oh! Give me an ether. Okay. I'm running out of ethers. The dam. I don't know, use tornado. I need to pick up ethers when I return to the surface. Oh, there's some ethers. Yep, really love this music. One of my favorite things about replaying this game is that I'm rediscovering a lot of songs that in the past I didn't really care about that actually uh, really resonate with me. You know, they really have an effect on me. Okay, now, eventually I'm going to go down to the right to find another enemy skill over that way. But right now we're going to head back up and go to those caves and fight those annoying cats with their incredibly powerful attacks. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, no. Not fighting this guy? Not worth my time. I get, like, seriously, I get nothing from that. I'm supposed to get something from that, right? Like, besides a couple of usable items? I don't know, maybe those items are really rare, and that getting them is actually pretty good. Okay. Okay, here we go. Damn it, why are you so tough? Alright. That didn't do nothing. Damn it. I don't get it. What? What is it? Ah! Well, this is awful, but what are you gonna do? This would be a slow conquest, and I would have to persevere. I put sense on cats in the hopes that I'd be able to scan them and maybe find out a weakness. Maybe they don't have a lot of HP. I don't know. All I know is is that this is going to be hell. And I'm gonna see if Cloud can go inside this door. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. Christ. Ah! No oh, eat. Yeah, whatever. Ha!
How many times must I walk the road of the Tsar Cat? This cold, cold road. Each time re-equipping my characters. Again and again. Take off enemy away. Equipped sense. And just because you reach the cave doesn't mean you're gonna fight the Tsar Cats right away. And I wouldn't mind fighting these guys, but if I fought the Tsar Cats later and died, all my rewards would go to waste. I went through seven battles before finally running into a gang of Tsar Cats. Okay. Yeah, I one hit kill, that's... Maybe we'll land this low. Well, only one of them. I was feeling experimental, so I combined the sneak attack material with the Hades Summon. The idea was that at the start of battle, Catsith would cast the Hades Summon, which would put all these ailments on those Zarg Cats. Thing is, I don't know how consistent the sneak attack material is, and those animations are long. I didn't want to waste all that time and MP at the start of every battle, so I nixed that idea. Once again, I had to run away from a half dozen foes before finding Zarg Cats, and well, they didn't go so well. Nothing of note happened. I tried, I failed. It was at this point that I realized that the eggs and materia that Cloud had on had the teleport spell on it. And that's on me. I should have just took the quick minute to look at my materia and figure out where that teleport spell was. I got a preemptive strike on this round, so was my luck turning around? I even successfully manipulated a Zarkat. But then... Catsith, the guy who was manipulating the Sarcat, died, and basically the whole battle just fell apart. It was time for me to look up some help. Apparently, Iron Fist, that move that those Zarcats will not stop using, is Shout Elemental. I loaded each of my heroes up with a Bahamut summon and an Elemental Materia. Then I rolled out, and I realized that that path right there in front of the save point is actually one I can use and not just decoration. Which made me feel very stupid. Anyway, I went to the caves, and before long I encountered a group of Zar cats, and I was ready to show off my new setup. Alright. Or oh, look at that, guys! I did it! Oh, crap. Um... Alright, so... I pretty much got it. And of course, but it doesn't matter because they're gonna take a thousand turns anyway. Alright. 17,000 HP weak against Holy. Well, I might as well shield Aerith. Alright, who has. I th okay, so their attacks are Shell Elemental, and I think Shield blocks against that.
Wait, it has to be random? Oh crap. Alright, well, the good news is, is that we got it. So now all we have to do is heal. Like that. That's how you heal. Like what I just did. Okay, you. Alright, Aerith, I need you to get up and add on. Yeah, Iron Fist, that's what it's called. Pay close attention, because it's awful. <laughs> it's way too powerful! <laughs> Why would anyone have that? Who thought that was a good idea? Alright, I don't think this is gonna shock it out of, uh, the manipulation thing, so I think we're good. Aw, oh, crap. This might- this might- There we go. Fiao, 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 fiao! Wait, why was that not a lot of dam- well, that was a, a lot of damage, actually. Okay. Toy box! Or not. Alright, did we get it? I think we got it. I think we got it. Let's check. Okay. Materia. Enemy skill. Death charge, right there. I have no idea what it does. I didn't- I wasn't expecting to happen what happened. Alright, let's get- let's get out of here. Let's go save. Let's blow this popsicle stand. So after long last, we finally got Death Charge. Death Charge inflicts 4,000 damage, but charges everyone's limits. This will be very useful, especially since I'm trying to learn everyone's limits still. I popped down into the swamp to save, but then went right back up to the crossroads and headed rightwards into the eastern parts of the northern cave, where the enemy that had the other enemy skill roamed. Hey, what's this thing? Hey, Belly. Whatever you doing? Oh, it's a dragon zombie. I think in the original Final Fantasy VII Vanilla, this guy gives you a special enemy skill. I do not think that's true anymore. Actually, uh, manipulate? I just want to see if I can manipulate him. The guy hits hard, though. That's for sure. Alright, Dragon Zombie, Almost Dead Weakens Fire, Earth, Holy, and... I'll use Flare. What are you doing now? Abnormal Breath, uh-oh. No! There we go. Nice! Now we can move on. Okay, exit was born. Poison was born. Wait, how much? I got like 5,000 AP from that. Alright, we can cross off exit on the list. Only four more... Only four more materia I need to master before I can get that master materia. 
Unless I'm missing something. I'm always worried that I am. Dragon armlet, what does it do? Do I have any of those before? Haves shout. Uh, increase the strength of magic by 25 slots. Two of them are pairs. I mean, four of them are pairs. Eh, that's not too bad. That's That could be useful. Use some ethers. I'm almost done here. I can always go up to the surface and get more. Alright, let's go down this way. I mean, the imagery in this game is really evocative most of the time. It's very striking, especially those big wide shots like that. There are treasures here that I've not gotten. Holy crap, I cannot believe that. Okay, I think that means that this is going to be a much larger expedition than I assumed. What's a cauldron? Inflict Salus ailments. Was it like a... like a ailment nuke? So, some exploring had to be done, and the scope of my adventure down here was expanded. I saved at a save point nearby, and got ready for some more spelunkin'. But we'll wait until next time to tackle that. This has been Final Fantasy VII New Threat. Stay tuned!